These 10 things can be a total game changer in your curly hair routine. Namaste you gorgeous people, welcome back to my channel. You know how I always say that your wavy or curly hair routine, whatever you follow, should be uncomplicated and simple. All we want is some moisturized and defined curls, right? For example, in my routine, I require mostly five, four products actually, not even five. Shampoo, a conditioner, a leave-in or cream and a gel. At max, oil, brush or comb and microfiber towel. That's all. This routine has been set since years and that's just my hair. What if your hair requirement is different? You need extra help, extra hand, extra tools. Yes, that is possible because your hair type, your hair density, your hair strand thickness is different than mine. Well, I'll tell you what. You can use these 10 accessories in your curl care routine to help you with some more definition, some more volume, some more shine, some less frizz, some reduced drying time. Do you need all of them? No, absolutely not. You will need probably one or two, but which ones? That you have to decide watching this video. This is what we are here for. At the end of the video, I'll share which ones I use in my routine and which ones I completely do not use in my routine. And if you are new here, I'm supposing you have not yet subscribed. I'll tell you why you need to subscribe. So you are gonna miss a lot of videos if you do not do that. And if you go through my channel, browse through my channel, you will notice that there are a lot of things that you do not know already. And I have already talked about them. I have already taught them. So you need me. I need you. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and stay tuned. Okay, done with the talking. Enough of talking. What do you think? I'm gonna go through this video with just talking and talking. Never in my videos. I'm going to show each of these products and how you can use them throughout a wash routine. So I'm just gonna go fix my messed up hair and come back and show you how I achieve these. Okay, I'm done with washing and conditioning my hair. Now it's time to style and since I'm doing it outside the shower, I'm going to wear this K plus cruncher that's made with cotton on one side and plastic inside. Comes with all the buttons too. It's going to protect my actual clothes from getting wet and soaked in water and products while I'm styling. Really useful if you like to color your hair outside the shower or style it and even the cotton side can be used for scrunching your hair. Now before applying the products, I'm going to detangle my hair and also put some water. For detangling, I'm going to use this brush from Hair Love. It's called Detangling and Styling Brush. Now there are a lot of brushes in the market but this one is unique because it comes with this controller. If you remove this controller, it spreads maximum and does not let your hair break, takes all the pressure and pull on itself. See how it's spreading when I'm using it on my hair to detangle. And if you want to know how to use it for styling, keep on watching this video, okay? Now I need to soak my hair in water and for that I'm going to use this misty bottle. This is a continuous mist bottle that gives out very fine mist by using less water, very different from usual spray bottle. If I was in char, I would have, you know, directly drizzled some water, but I'm outside char, so I'm using this. This misty bottle works very well and effectively and it's very durable if you use drinking water and use it with dry hands. But if your hands are wet, I'll tell you this will slip from your hands because of the weight it has beneath and I think it needs design improvement. Now I take a coin size of the leave-in conditioner, spread it on my wet hair with just hands. I do this for about a minute and then I brush my hair with the same detangling and styling brush to further spread the product throughout the hair, covering each and every single strand. It's a really good one at that. And now comes the actual use of the brush. You see, I applied the leave-in cream but my hair is still looking very frizzy. And I'm going to turn this phrase into defined clumps using the brush once again and I'll show you how it's done. And for that I'm dividing my hair into two sections. You can form any kind of sections that you like and keeping the sections in place using these alligator clips. The front blue part is movable so it doesn't form dents in your hair. It's very useful. Now to use this brush as a styling brush, I have placed the controller on the second part. This will restrict the movement and will form thinner clumps. And I have noticed that if I place the controller on the above dots, then it makes bigger clumps. So place it accordingly. Now the key point here that most people go wrong with is to tightly run the brush, otherwise it will detangle like it's doing right now. So make sure there's a tight contact, there's tension between brush and your hair. Otherwise it will not form nice, juicy, thick lumps. Just repeating the whole thing on different parts of the first layer. And when it's done, I open the above section and do the same on the above part. There should be water, there should be styling product and there should be tension between your wet hair and the brush. And now it's all done and I love the frizz free smooth clumps. Moving on to my favorite part which is applying gel. Just topping generous amount of gel using praying hands without disturbing any of the clumps and now my styling is all finished. 
and it's time to scrunch. Scrunching is done to enhance curl pattern so it's really beneficial for those with wavy curls or loose curl pattern but not so beneficial for me I don't do it. But I'm going to teach you how to scrunch gently and what to use to scrunch effectively. First is this microfiber bonnet which is satin inside and microfiber outside and it comes in two sizes big and small and we can choose according to our hair density and length. You can use the satin side for scrunching or the microfiber side. This bonnet can also be used for damp plopping, especially from the satin side, which I'll show you later. The tie band is the classic patented design of Hair Love, which is really stretchable and comfortable to wear. The second option we have for scrunching is turban. This is a more popular shape and it comes with a button in case you want to plop. This one is also made of microfiber, which is really, really absorbent. This one is more comfortable to wear, plopping is easier and comes in two different designs. One with a stopper and one is a plain one. My choice is a plain one because I do not like plopping, but we are going to come on plopping later on. The third and a better option in my opinion for scrunching is this shower cap. This is made of plastic and it's reusable. You can use it as many times as you want and you can use it for plopping as well. And since it's plastic, it's not going to absorb products along with water. So that's the best thing about it. That is why I like it more. And it comes with an adjustable string so you can put it according to your head size and comfort. And like I mentioned earlier, this cape plus scruncher can be used from either of the side for scrunching. This won't absorb much product either. Now I, I do not like scrunching, I don't scrunch, look at my curls, they are looking so frizzy, right? These are the reasons why I do not scrunch and if you are able to relate, you also can skip scrunching like me. After scrunching, we do plopping. Plopping is same as wrapping hair in towel, but when we have curly hair, we don't wrap it in a towel. In fact, we don't twist it, we just put it in a congested space so that the fabric nicely dries it faster, also promoting some shrinkage and definition. Right now I am using a microfiber towel. A lot of people make this mistake of twisting their hair inside it, but do not do that. Just put your hair in the hollow part of this towel and twist the tail of it, attach it with the button and then remove it after 10-15 minutes. I really like hair turbos. They are so 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 easy to use. Hair Love has two variants, one with stopper and one is plain. The stopper one is for enhanced plopping effect. Just slide down the stopper and it will tighten the plop and that's how you use it. However you use it, just remove it after 10-15 minutes. I would not suggest drying your hair completely inside this towel. Plopping is usually done with the same things we use for scrunching. Like right now I'm using bonnet made of microfiber I showed you earlier in the scrunching part. It's not my favorite thing to use for plopping because the opening area is really limited and getting your wet hair inside without frizzing it up, without disturbing it is really difficult. Yet another option for plopping is this plop tee. This is a good option if you do not have a spare cotton t-shirt at home for plopping because this one is designed specifically for plopping, making the sleeves really long for tying. Ideally, you need a flat surface for wearing this, but I just wear it like that because I cannot find any flat surface in my bathroom, so yeah. It's really easy and convenient that way and since it's a single layered fabric, it will not absorb a lot, just a moderate amount. Saving best for the last, the fourth option for plopping is this net plopping bonnet. This is a very unique and different design. This works as an alternative for diffuser head. You can literally wear it on your freshly styled hair. Just plop in it and then diffuse. You don't need a diffuser head when using this. Just use a blow dryer on top of it and the double fuse net will diffuse all the hair, making it possible to diffuse without buying a separate diffuser attachment. How cool is that? This net bonnet has come from the famous trend of net plopping. Now you might be wondering, will this melt because of high heat? No, this is really high quality. This will not melt. I personally do not diffuse in summers. I mostly let my hair dry on its own and in winters, I blow dry from a distance so that it does not get frizzy or hot. And before letting my hair dry, I clip it. Clip it in a way that it gets some lift on the roots. And for that, I use this big plastic claw clip. And on the sides, I use this alligator clip. And then I wash my face so that I get no skin reactions. And this kaftan you see, it's also from Hair Love. I really like to wear this when like I'm drying my hair or I like to wear a satin rope when I'm drying my hair. Or if none of these are available, I would like to put on this satin calf. This will let wet hair touch just no other rough surface, just a satiny, soft, silky surface. Helps a lot in avoiding wet frizz. And finally, all my hair is completely dried and I am loving the cast that I got. I dried my hair using dry it like desi curly method. I have shared it many times in many videos on Instagram as well. And the cast I got is really good. Now I'm going to break this cast and get fluffy, nice bouncy curls by using satin to break the cast. You can just use your dry hands, but dry hands don't suit me anymore. So I'm wearing this satin glove. You can also use satin scarf for this. It's just that satin scarf keeps slipping from my hand. So I like these gloves much more. I have been using these gloves for more than a year now and I just cannot even travel without them. And to break the cast, I smoothen the cast like that or clap them together or just squeeze. 
anything but not scrunching. If scrunching works for you, well and good, do that. Now at any point if you feel that even in dry hair your roots are looking very flat, you can just use a hair pick. This will lift your roots and give them more fuller feeling. You have to use it like that. Just insert in and stretch. Insert in and lift. That's just like that. Do it all around your scalp and you will feel the difference instantly. Done with all the tutorial, all the demonstration with my hair as well. And I love how it's looking. So these are all the helper accessories or tools you can have in your curly hair routine. I really like the quality of these, how they are stitched and how durable these are. Okay, so out of these, I used very few of them because my hair needs are very different. The moment I touch my nicely styled wet hair, they just frizz up. I cannot fiddle with them. I cannot even scrunch them. So while doing all the stuff while for this demonstration purpose, I messed up my hair really bad. So that's not the case with everyone. It's just my hair. My hair has changed over the time, over period because of aging, hormones and everything. My hair has become coarse and coarse hair frizzes up very easily even when it's wet and it needs a lot of water for holding the clump in place. So my hair needs are very, very different. So basically what I do is I detangle my hair with a conditioner before shampoo, conditioner and water. Then I shampoo, then I condition once again. And after my hair is all done with conditioner detangling and everything, then I use a brush to detangle my hair, like whatever knots are left, very, very little knots. For that, I usually use this um, hair love brush. Then I rake in my leave-in and then I make the clumps using again this hair love brush, octopus brush or whatever you call it. But it's very useful for me because it gives that nice ringletty feel and very nice clumps. And then I put on the gel using fraying hands and then I let it be. I do not scrunch my hair because without scrunching my uh, shrinkage is a lot. Otherwise my hair would like go below the what camera can capture even. I used to scrunch a lot after styling because that used to help my hair a lot. Then I sometimes plop my hair if I have to wash my face, wash my body, clean the bathroom and sometimes I don't even plop. Just plopping does not make any difference in my case. So to break this gel cast I use satin mittens satin mittens, satin gloves, whatever you want to call them. I'll just link everything in the caption if you want the links. And after I'm done with my styling, put my hair quickly in this bonnet and, and I'm done. I can work nicely, I can sleep nicely without a worry. So that's just my honest routine. You must have seen my routine in other videos as well, right? I hope you really like this video. And this is just one request from my end. If you have used any of these accessories, Please do mention your feedback in the comments. It's a request from my end but not for me. It's for other wavies and curlies because my hair is a specific type but there are other curlies and wavies around you who are watching this video who would like to know your feedback, your personal experience of how uh, you liked or disliked the product. Do mention your hair density, your curl type, wavy or curly and your strand thickness. That matters a lot. So yeah, that would be just my request only request for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.